Okay, thank you, Chairman. So,、uh, hello, everyone. My name is Fukumoto from Microsoft Research. Today, I will talk about a brand new speech skew named Silent Voice. So, as you may know,、hmm? what's happened?、Okay. As you may know, there are a bunch of smart speakers. And、uh, we also use voice assistants with、uh, the PC and also smartphones.、Uh, but I think they are not very widely used the, in public spaces, the offices, and also in Japan. The, actually, in Japan, no one wants to use not only voice assistants, but also even mobile headsets in public spaces. Why? The, I think. The main reason is this shouting style. The people hesitate to shout in front of other people. So it's technical, not a technical issue, not,、uh, but a mental issue. So I thought if an uttered voice, uttered voice is unnoticeable from surrounding us, we may want to use voice input in everywhere. The question is how to realize silent voice. Okay, like them all.、Hmm? What's happened? What's happened for.、Hmm? Okay. Hmm. Okay, now I'll make a, the voice input. Please check if my real voice leaks. Can you hear? Okay. So, this is silent voice. So, this is English speech. What is English speech? There are two types of speech methods ingressive and aggressive. The aggressive speech means speak while breathing out. The airflow is from lung to outside. This is our human's normal speech methods,、uh, including whispering. In this mode, our vocal cord、uh, made, you know, so,、uh, makes the source sound. It vibrates while normal speech. And also, it's making narrow air gaps when whispering. So,、uh, this mode is very suitable. For making loud voice. On the other hand, there are opposite speech methods, named ingressive speech. That means speak while breathing in. The airflow is from, in,、uh, from outside to lung. It's very rarely used in our normal speech, so,、uh, except、uh, Swedish, yeah, so, uh, and uh, some other African languages. So I think. Many of you never use this speech method in your life. So,、uh, in this uh, mode, uh, our vocal cord doesn't generate any sound. So,、uh, because our vocal cord basically cannot work、uh, while inhaling. Uh, for, if uh, I want to use、uh, for this, hello, <laughs> Ibria. So,、uh, very, so, sorry, very uh, so, uh, uh, ugly voice. So, so it, and also,、uh, it's very difficult to squeeze. The, for making whispering, for example. <laughs> whispering? So, so, the, the, I said it's, so oh, therefore it's not very suitable for making loud voice. So, the, I, I think it's, it's one reason why human basically doesn't use this speech mode. But, but I, I, I also see, uh, think it may be suitable for making very small voice by combining with a、so, proper sound source. The second question is where is the sound source? So, this is silent voice. The, the second key is making artificial air gap as sound source. For example, so, 
so to, to put some searing object uh, in front of the mouth or uh, the covering of the mouth by hand. And this. So uh, this narrowly opened the mouth of the figure, uh, like the, this ventriloquism. So it's also effective for uh, making air gap. Then this air gap uh, generates a whisper-like sound with English airflow. For example, where is... So you, you can hear I will sound and also this. this silent voice. So uh, this, this is real recorded sound of silent voice. So actually this slide is the most important slide. So, uh, the, so my main aim of uh, today's my presentation is uh, to introduce how to speak silent voice to you. So uh, please let's practice with me. So <laughs> the, the step one is the slowly inhale the from the mouth, or the, as if uh, so, or sucking through a virtual store, or like this. Please repeat, repeat after me. Good, good, good job. So the step two is the covering the uh, mouth by your palm. Now, it's for making narrow area. Then, so or sucking from the mouth, or the, like this. So, yes. So, the, so uh, you can hear some air turbulent sound. So the, this is a, the artificial sound source. The last step is the making same mouth motions as if whispering silent voice while inhaling. For example, silent voice, silent voice. Please repeat after me. Silent voice, silent voice. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you so uh, hear, can hear whisper-like sound. Congratulations, you already have master sound voice, silent voice. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, actually speaking, speaking the, this sound, whisper-like sound, uh, is, can be generated by, by both uh, the in, uh, ingressive and also aggressive airflow. So, but why we choose English one? So um, because there are many advantages. First advantage is the pop noise. When you, we put microphone in front of the mouth, we may suffer from heavy pop noise like this. Sorry, sorry, the noise. So uh, this is because the airflow is directly hits the microphone diaphragm. The, on the other hand, so if we suck in the microphone, <laughs> there are no pop noise. The, that, that means we can put the microphone the, at the very close position of, my, uh, of the mouth. So uh, this is a very ideal position for capturing a very small sound. So uh, therefore, uh, the, this method can achieve very low, no, low voice leakage and high SN ratio. So uh, our experiment uh, indicated that the silent voice uh, can, so uh, silent voice uh, that can achieve the low voice leakage less than 40 decibel. That means we can use voice input in library without disturbing other people. So our second advantage is the for activation. Currently, we have to use uh, the uh, so-called magic word for activating voice assistance. The, on the other hand, in silent voice, the silent voice can easily be separated with our normal conversation by just measuring airflow directions. So of course, the airflow sensor can be used, but uh, it's a little bit uh, the, the expensive. So uh, we also found the conventional ECM, or electric condenser microphone, can also be used as an airflow sensor by just measuring DC level of microphone output. It's very cheap. So uh, therefore, uh, we can uh, use uh, the uh, side, so uh, we can use the the voice assistant without uh, the shouting. Or any magic words. This is recognition result. The conventional and the voice recognizer cannot work well with silent voice because it is uh, normally uh, basically tuned for the, our normal speech. The initial or uh, the word error rate is 83 uh, percent very high, but after the, uh, the some re-adaptation of acoustic model, uh, the Error rate is uh, the improved to 1.8 percent in so speaker-dependent conditions. Also, 7 percent in speaker-independent conditions. 
uh, with limited uh, the dictionaries. Uh, that means the silent voice uh, can be used at least command and control side applications. So this is a uh, second recognition result in so, uh, noisy environment. The silent voice is very little sound, but it's, uh, the SN, uh, SN ratio is very high. Uh, that means uh, it can be recognized in noisy conditions. So uh, we uh, have conducted uh, the real, uh, the, some experiment in real subway car. Uh, the, the average noise delivery is uh, uh, about uh, around the 80 decibels. The error rate is uh, still uh, kept in 6.9%, uh, uh, very low. Uh, that means uh, so we can use unnoticeable voice input uh, not only uh, in quiet space, the, but, uh, but also in noisy environments. So oh, there are some implementations. The, this is the Bluetooth-based microphone. The, I think this, the ring-shaped device is ideal. Uh, because its uh, na operation style is very natural. And the silent voice uh, can easily be the, uh, combined with uh, the existing the wearables and uh, so, uh, appliances. So uh, uh, here are some related works. NAM, so uh, uh, non audible mama is uh, uh, one of the famous uh, the soft whisper based uh, voice input uh, system. No, I'm sorry. So I, I found one, one uh, uh, typo at the uh, in the lecture section. Now, murmur is uh, correct. Uh, sorry, Dr. Nakajima-san. So, and also EMG, and there are uh, some EMG and EEG-based uh, silent voice input systems. Okay, there are some discussions. So, uh, this table uh, shows the phonemes can be generated by each speech method. Now, in whispering and silent voice, so uh, the major uh, so, uh, limitation is uh, uh, the all unvoiced consonants are emerged as a, a voiced consonants. And uh, also in silent voice, some nasal sounds uh, uh, also become weak because the microphone is far from nasal hope. The second discussion is uh, the for learning. The, uh, actually, the learning silent voice is not very difficult uh, because you, you have already mastered. So the, the, the typical uh, the learning time is uh, less than 15 minutes. But there are some uh, uh, students uh, have some obstacles because we basically uh, didn't have uh, such kind of speech skill. Now, there are some tips. So uh, f uh, first tip is how to shut the nasal cavity when inhaling. When we try to inhale from the mouth, a uh, so bunch of airflow still coming from nasal hole. So to prevent this, so uh, to it is effect, very effective to imagine to use the uh, the straw, virtual straw, uh, for inhaling. So uh, second tips is uh, the this uh, the second uh, tips word is uh, this ventriloquism. So as I mentioned before, uh, this uh, ventriloquism like the uh, narrowly open the mouth is very effective for making clear silent voice sound. The, Third tips is the how to use, uh, how, how to utter long sentences. The, uh, some user complains that they uh, so cannot uh, speak long sentences in silent voice because they are, their language is full. So uh, uh, this is because we basically unconsciously inhale before speaking. It's our normal, normal habit, uh, but, but it's not good for silent voice. The in silent voice, we have to in, you know, we have to consciously exhale before speaking. So, so I think uh, that we have to uh, learn some, some kind of silent voice school uh, for uh, if, if, if we want to uh, so, uh, distribute this uh, new type of speech, speech skill. Okay, wrap up. The, since, since the birth of human beings uh, from about uh, several million years ago, uh, we have been used only half of speech ability for communication. Now, <laughs> we got full speech ability and also a brand new communication channel to digital world. Question. Thank you. All right, uh, please ask your questions using silent voice. <laughs> Any takers? 
Uh, Carsten Zeib, Google, hello. Um, awesome, I love it, it's fantastic. Um, quick question, how important is the um, positioning of the microphone for that to be effective? Can I wait anywhere on the side? Does it have to be in exactly perpendicular position or stream with the um, air coming in? So uh, the, basically, the, uh, the closer microphone is, uh, is, is uh, so, uh, much better. Uh, the, the maybe uh, the less than one millimeter, the, the, very in front of the mouth. Uh, the, so, and it's very closing position is also uh, the very effective for uh, high, achieving a high SN ratio or the, with, by, with, with using the so-called noise cancelling type of microphone uh, because the main diaphragm is very close. So, uh, it so, uh, so can achieve extraordinary so, uh, the, so noise cancelling abilities. So, uh, the, is it okay for, for uh, so? No, basically, uh, the, to, to put the microphone as, as close as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So I was just wondering if you got like, well, a typical, like, with a rating microphone that somehow hangs on the side of your cheek or so, uh, uh, whether that would also be a possibility to, to make it work with those. Yeah, mm, mm. And so, uh, mm. how, how should I say? So, <laughs> So, uh, mm, the, for, for, for some, so, so if uh, we, we so, uh, so remove my microphone you know, from the mouth, the, it can be used, but, but uh, uh, the uh, efficiency is uh, the very low. Uh, then another so, uh, uh, idea of the implementation is that uh, to use in, in, intraoral the microphone system uh, for, for, for achieving the, the uh, some, some, so ideal positions. So, uh, so, please uh, come later. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah, I'm going to see you for a demo. Mm. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, let's take one last question. Mm. Thanks, hi, Dan Ashbrook, University of Copenhagen. I'm curious if people get tired of using this after a while. Ah, so, I, okay. So, oh, it depends on the, uh, the airflow or the volume. So, if, uh, so if the untrained user, if not well, uh, well trained user, tend to use large airflow, Oh, the, then, so uh, it's not only the uh, uh, speaking on, uh, only short uh, sentences, but also uh, the uh, increasing fatigue. So, uh, so uh, the, when the uh, so uh, if the train the well trained, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the airflow consumption is, can be so reduced. Um, the, so the key is uh, the, this ventriloquism side, the, this this um, so uh, mouth. Um, then, uh, if so, uh, user is well trained. And the uh, uh, fatigue is not, not very so uh, the different from the normal speech. And uh, also whisper. Also, uh, I have to uh, say uh, this. The, in whisper, uh, in the normal whisper, uh, uh, our vocal cord uh, are making some say, air gaps. The, uh, but uh, it's, it's not uh, so, so suitable for a long-term use. If we, we uh, use long-term uh, uh, so, uh, whispering, and our vocal cord uh, the, uh, so become, uh, so will be harm. So, it, it, so in sight voice, there are no so harmful so, uh, position for long term use. Then, so uh, it's uh, another reason uh, I re recommend silent voice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's thank the speaker one more time.